Today I'll show you how to make buttermilk koldskål with kammerjunker, a very Danish dish that we eat when it's hot. It's super delicious. Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. Today I will show you how to make koldskål with buttermilk, a Danish dish that we most commonly eat with kammerjunker, a twice-baked cookie. Koldskål literally means cold bowl in Danish. It's a sweet dairy-based beverage or dessert. Uh, the main ingredients is buttermilk, often enriched with egg, sugar, cream or other dairy products, vanilla and sometimes lemon. Traditionally, it's eaten with tvebakker, a rusk, a hard twice-baked biscuit. Nowadays, it's more commonly eaten with kammerjunker. I guess people prefer cookies over hard unsweetened biscuits. The dish Koldskål is known from around 1900 when commercial production of buttermilk in Denmark became commonplace. Since 1979 it's been available as ready-made and sometimes when it's hot it's impossible to buy it at the supermarket because everybody will eat it for dinner. Otherwise it's more often eaten as a snack though. If you're new to this channel I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. If you want to see more of this content, please join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. You must bake them until they're super crunchy so they don't get soggy when added to the cold school. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a member at Patreon. You can also buy some merch or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Those were the words. This is the recipe. There's a link in the description for the written recipe on my website. Add a pinch of sugar to your cutting board. Slice a vanilla pot in half. And scrape out all the seeds and add it to the sugar. Using your knife, squeeze the seeds into the sugar until it separates. You'll need half of this for the cookies and the other half for the drink. Then heat your oven to 190 degrees Celsius, 370 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll make the cookies. To a medium bowl add 125 grams or one cup of all-purpose flour, 50 grams or a quarter cup of sugar, half of the homemade vanilla sugar, a pinch of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, the zest of half a lemon. Mix it all together. Then add 50 grams or three and a half tablespoons of butter. As you can see, I thought I'd be grating it into the dough, but the butter was already soft out of the fridge. It's because I'm using a different butter than usual because I went to the store and one pack 200 grams of Lure Pack butter was 34 kroner. That's just shy of five US dollars. So I went for the cheaper option. Sheesh. So instead I crumble it in. Then massage the butter into the dough until it's somewhat incorporated. Then add a whole egg and work that into the dough. Grab a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Grab six grams of dough, that's about one teaspoon, and roll it into a tiny ball. Make all of the dough into balls. When they're all done, grab the sheet and put them in the oven and bake for 12 minutes. When the 12 minutes are up, open the oven and set the temperature to 150 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Grab the sheet and put it on something heat proof. Cut every ball in half and put them back on the baking sheet, cut side up. Use a really sharp knife. 
I started out with my bread knife, but it was too big. So I grabbed a super sharp utility knife, which worked well. A few of them broke, so I just put them aside. You can absolutely bake them if you want. When they're all cut, put them back in the oven for 18 minutes. Then grab one cookie out of the oven and check it for doneness. It shouldn't be soft at all, crisp all the way through. I gave mine three minutes extra and they were perfect. Put them on a wire rack and let them cool completely before using. It shouldn't take too long. Then it's time to make the kolsko. To a medium bowl add 30 grams or 2 tablespoons of sugar. The other half of the vanilla sugar. 3 egg yolks. If you're nervous about salmonella, use pasteurized. Mix until pale, creamy and frothy. I could have absolutely taken it further, but I was hungry. Then add three deciliters or one and a quarter cups of full fat yogurt. If you can get Utma, that's the right thing to use, but you probably can't. One liter or four and a quarter cups of buttermilk. Then season to taste with the zest of half a lemon and the juice of an entire lemon. There's no waste here, we use the entire lemon. Then it's ready to serve. Serve with fresh, sun-ripened strawberries and freshly baked kamayonga. Whoops. <laughs> I know, those weird things, but it's so delicious. The Kolskol is refreshingly cold and both tangy and sweet. The cookies are crunchy, crumbly, and have a delightful smell of butter. It's a perfect dish for when it's warm or when you just need a little pick-me-up. I hope you learned something today. See you next time. Cool.